Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to transfer photos and videos from your iPhone to your iPad without using iCloud or iTunes. So first of all, on both devices, all you need to do is just verify that Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are turned on. So on iPhone and Pro Max, this is turned on here. And if we take a look at the iPad Mini 6, you can see this is also turned on as well. Next, on the iPad, which is receiving the pictures and videos you see right here this airdrop icon you want to tap on this and make sure this is set to everyone not contacts only not receiving off set this to everyone next all you want to do is on the device that you're going to be sending photos from you just want to open up the photos application right here i'm just going to close out of this and you just want to select the photos and videos you want to airdrop so if you just want to uh, airdrop videos you can just go to albums here and you should be able to have a category for just videos and you can see that right here and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the stuff i want now keep in mind i see some tutorials and they only show you how to like airdrop one at a time and let's say i want to airdrop you know my entire <laughs> library this is like you know a thousand photos and videos well you know that's not very useful but i'll just cover the one photo or one video quickly you just tap on the one photo the share icon airdrop and then you should see here your uh, iPad, so if I just select iPad mini here, you're gonna see airdrop, iPhone would like to share a photo. If I tap on accept, you're gonna see that same photo did send successfully. However, what if we wanna send, you know, the whole photo library or more photos? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna tap on select here and you just want to get your uh, index finger and you just want to drag around. So you can tap if you like, if you're not doing things correctly, you can always tap and then you just want to drag. You see, drag your finger. And what it's going to do is it's going to select multiple once. And then if you bring your finger near to the top of the display, you can see the um, the scroll is going to start. And so what you can do is you can just leave this here. It may take a couple of minutes and it's going to capture, uh, well, it's going to select even all of your photos, all of your videos. Once it reaches the top, it will stop. So you can see right here, we've now selected all the photos and videos. And then you just need to tap on the share. Just tap on the share. And it may take a bit of time because you are showing a lot of stuff. And you just want to repeat the same process. So airdrop and you select your device. Wait for that thing to complete. Do keep in mind if you're airdropping a bunch of photos and videos. This may take, you know, a couple of minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Uh, it could take even up to an hour. So a, a quick tip is on both devices, go to settings and then display and brightness. And then you see here auto lock, set auto lock to never. And the reason why we want to set this to never is so that the screen doesn't turn off because if the screen turns off, not always, but sometimes the airdrop will fail. And if it fails, of course, you need to repeat the process. So that's just best practice. You select your device and then you should see, uh, you may have to prepare the photos and stuff because it is a large file size. And then you'll see on your receiving iPad that there is an option to airdrop. You just tap on accept and wait for it to complete. So hopefully this video did help you out. Right. If it did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.